Right, David had us design a game. He used a fair six-sided dice and a fair five-sided spinner. The die is numbered one to six. The spinner is numbered one to five. Each player rolls a dice once and spins at the spinner once. A player can win five pounds or two pounds. So they win five pound if they roll a five and spin a five. They win two pounds if they roll a one or spin a one or both. Okay? David expects 30 people will play the game. Each person will pay David a pound to play the game. Work out how much profit you expect. Now, there is more complicated ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is to go to a sample space diagram. So if I think of my dice, which is going to be numbered one to six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you think my spin is going to be numbered one to five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I don't really care about the actual outcome. All I care is if they win a, if they roll a five and spin a five, which is five five, they get five pounds. Okay, the other one is if they roll one or spin one or both, they get two pounds. This is two. 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 That 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 is two. All the rest of it, you get nothing. So I'm just going to fill in nothing for every single other option. It's not the neatest of uh, sample space diagrams. Right. So, uh, luckily, in my actual diagram, I have 30 combinations. And as uh, he expects 30 people to play, this is the actual score that I'm going to get. So, if I add this up, and I'm David, the actual total amount is what I expect to come out. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus 5 equals 25. So, he's going to pay out. So, he's going to pay out 25 pounds. Now, if we get the question back, uh, he asks 30 people. So, he's going to have 30 people charge a pound. He's going to have 30 pound in. So if he has £30 coming in, and he's going out £25, that means he'll make a profit of £5. That we expect him to make a profit of £5. And uh, that's what the question says, expect how much he's going to make. The second part to this question, uh, give a reason why David's actual profit may be different to the profit he expects to make. Now what you have to put something on the lines is that that's what we predict to happen, it's not actually what's going to happen or the way that it's a probability and this is a random event, that it is possible for David to pay out £5 for every 30 goes. It's unlikely, but it is a good chance for that happening.